Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome back to Man of Medan. Thank you so much for joining me again. I took a little break. I went and got my my lunch and I uh I decided something. It's it's a it's a tricky decision for me to make. Usually, I will dissect the ever living out of, out of these kind of games. I'll try to figure out exactly what the writers were trying to go for and try to subvert the expectation of what you're supposed to do to make them live or to get the outcome that I want. I did it in Telltale Games. I did it in Until Dawn. I've done it in a lot of games. Trying to predict what is even happening and going on in this game so far feels like hurting a bag of cat, like uh, hurting a bag of cats. If you're, if you have the bag already full of cats, you don't need to herd them mission completes you've got the cats no it's trying it's like trying to herd cats it's not gonna happen and you're just gonna get frustrated so we're just gonna go into it again conrad got away and that's the only the only thing i've so far gleaned off of this is that the picture that showed that was to give me a heads up that while conrad was trying to get away it wasn't trying to tell me not to have conrad get away which is what my my mind immediately went to he was trying to tell me that when Conrad's getting away, it was going to be a quick time event that he's being shot at. Which made me immediately go, these pictures are not going to help me at all. I'm going to get someone killed and I will have I'll, hindsight's 2020, but I'm going into this blind. So let's just continue on. By the way, um, collection and character. Oh, we're going to be playing is um, Fliss over here. And altruistic is what, deceitful. Okay, I'm starting to realize what deceitful must mean for her. But she's got compassionate kind of showing up. I'm not sure about Fliss and all that jazz. Um, she, like, if I had to guess, and by the way, we're, we, um, we've got this. Uh, Conrad rushed for the speed road during kid. What is this? Alex's knife was not used on the dive. Oh, that gave him a, a chance to get the knife. Um, he made a break for it. Danny brought Alex on deck with a knife to his throat. Was it the knife that I should have grabbed? No, he brought him on deck while that was happening. With Olsen about to fire at Conrad, Alex attacked Olsen. Okay. Allowing Conrad to easily avoid Olsen's shots. Okay, okay, so I'm starting to see what's going on here. Cool. I wonder where that leaves our protagonist, but I'm leaning way too far into this. I need to put it here to remind me that I can't lean forward and you guys will hear me just fine. I keep wanting to lean towards my, it's just my instinct. I've got it in a different position. Let's get back into this. Antagonist must be creepy, therefore make him half blind. Why are you bleeding? Uh Alright. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. That's what I was actually kind of thinking. I'm, but I'm gonna say it's not I can't true. Believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us that up. Asshole. What a cold can it? Oh, I didn't. Did I hit it fast enough? Sit still, all of you. I, 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 I might have. Come with me. Seriously, did they really just skip over the brother out down there? Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it. 
Well, we haven't even gotten to the titular the boat. Man requesting weather update. Over. We read you. Everything okay? Over. Uh. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. I'm gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Are you okay out here? We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. See, now I'm questioning whether she's even in on it because, because Alex said, oh, Alex said what I was, oh, shoot. Everything's better when we have each other around. You get that? Don't you? Alex said what I was thinking, so now it's making me question whether my assumption was right. Exactly. I don't know where he is. In bed. He is in bed. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. You see, th that's what I was kind of thinking on that one. This game, the, the voices are unbalanced with the rest of it. I tried to balance it out in the settings, but... There's the boat! There we go. I didn't want to get Fliss killed before we even got to the boat where all this stuff is supposed to happen. I wonder if... Oh! Lee crap. I saw that guy die. How did he stay on... No, Storms must have ravaged that enough that his body should have fallen Everyone's apart. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Oh, really? <sighs> two people dead now already? Is that possible? Two? Could I have had two dead? That's what I'm thinking. Fliss and Conrad. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off this time but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable i dare say we'll find out hmm all right i like the therapist better creature i am i'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come tempted yes There we go. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. Okay. Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant... Distress. I presume you're eager to get back to your story. Yes, but I am. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Special feature unlocked. <sighs> Probably 
they shouldn't have said that. I feel like I just watched an episode of Fact or Fiction really quick where Jonathan Franks makes a little quip and a joke about how things aren't as they seem because you're trying to decide if they're fact or fiction. Just throwing that in there. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! How did that body stay on that life raft with the weather beating on it so long? It should have fallen off because he died after World War II and we're in present time. That's a, that's a long... Decades have passed. Junior, you retire la tête à l'image. Ooh. Uh oh. He's disabling the ship. Fuck. Well, we are really stranded, aren't we? So how does this work now? Yeah, I know. The the warning was pretty much that the the this Manchurian gold is actually a curse somehow. She warned that when you bring things up from the sea, you bring spirits with it pretty much when she was talking about bringing anything off that ship. I'm getting the hints they're putting down, okay? I think. Jesus. I think. Therefore, I am. Stupid. I am stupid. God, keep moving! Alright, I'm in control again. Rem okay. Let's try to remember. Let's try to remember that we're gonna... We're gonna hallucinate and at the same time, where the hallucinations can kill us. All right. Uh oh. Well, maybe I'll be able to read it later because of that. This whole place is a floating death trap. Yep. It sure, you you don't even know yet. You don't even is that are those feet? Is that a Keep moving? I, I see feet. Shadowed feet that she's passing. Okay. I'll keep going. I think I I think I saw that's what I saw, I think, maybe. So saving Fliss might Stop it, game. Saving Fliss might have cost other people their lives. Is that what the curator tried to say? Curator therapist stand in for Josh's stuff. Mask of Madness. Not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Right, can I get through this door? Alright. Try to find stuff. Trying to find stuff. The cross. This is where that one guy might have died, maybe. Come on. Miller. I don't remember that name well enough. Is was that Charlie? Was that one of those guys' names? Charlie or uh, the other guy I played in prologue? I probably could have explored somewhere else, but oh well. What was that? Oh shit! You don't say. Oh, let me be the one to flip out, okay? I got that covered. You stay calm. Internal memorandum. Fourteenth Division Army. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. Conveniently, it's always. When he has guard duties in hold 3A. Versus 2400. Check the chart for rotation. Okay. Alright, well, hey, wait, no. I meant to actually come towards the camera again. Nope. Awkwardly stare at camera. Wait. 
can't inspect that. Nope. It looked it looked like it might have been an inspectable thing. Awesome. You're in part to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. What? Which room? There's a lot of rooms. And did she change clothes? Did Julia change clothes? Or is that just a shirt over what she was? Oh, boy. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Way too convenient for her to have a lighter and for that not to be broken. How is that not broken? Game logic. What the hell is this fucking place? It's a graveyard. Well, whatever this ship is, we gotta start figuring out how to get the fuck off of it. So, what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? Nice way of putting it. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. Yep. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being as bad to you as they are to us. So. It's not obvious yet. Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. All right. I still... She, she's got the quality of being deceitful still, so I'm not... Quite sure that that's fine. What was the point of giving him the flashlight if we had the. Okay. Is it. Hey. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew... Man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. Yep. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Th they're pirates. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. I still so, think she might be in on it. What do we do? Uh... This is a fucking old ship, but maybe it still has a radio that works. Any idea where we'd find it? <sighs> the bridge. Above deck. All right. The second we get an open, we gotta take it. And hope the radio still works. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just be careful. All right. You know what the uncanny effect is doing to me right now? It's making me weirded out that they're being way too calm for their situation. I can see one of them being calm, maybe two of them. Not not everybody just playing it cool like this. Not when you're locked in something like this. Somebody's got to be freaking out and having cabin fever and being claustrophobic and. Hey, look, look at this. I didn't check the rest of the room. Crap. 
He can look at that. I'm gonna check the rest of the room real quick. Oh, I'm gonna go explore the. Okay. We're only supposed to rob them. But how would they know to rob them? Who brings that many valuables on board a ship? I, I still think Fliss might be implicit in some of this. I mean, involved. Stop using big words. I still, I, I, I am not smart man. Need to stop acting like one. Okay. Wait, what? The SS puppy dog. Hey, it's the mascot. Ship mascot is the puppy dog. Hey! But there's scratches, and I don't understand that. What do you think this ship was? Trying to figure that out. Give me a sec, baby cakes. Gotta, gotta read a few things. <laughs> wow. My timing is amazing for a letter that starts, Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. I'm really scared. Yeah, give me a second to read this. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? Hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Okay. Well, I'm sure she received that. I'm trying to find a picture. Glasses. This is very strange. But why? Some interactable objects just uh, are just weird. Hold on. I'm still convinced. There we go. That's what I wanted to I do. I wonder why they all left it behind. Flip it over. 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hogston expedition tra arrived in the King Kingdom in September last year with this stated goal of unearthing the... the Manchurian gold? What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. I'm gonna be confident. Yeah. This is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Mmm, they're right oh, yeah, there. Sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Oh, I gotta decide. Uh, barricade. I... I just feel that might be a better choice. No, don't do it until I barricaded it. Okay. Because a distraction isn't necessarily going to do anything. But a barricade will. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! No! Stop! No! I didn't realize I pressed A be when as soon as I saw A as a prompt. You can't mix quick time events and that. You can't do that to me. I was gonna keep calm. Oh, you can't do that to me. As soon as I saw A. Are we safe now? Oh, you can't do that. Oh no, that is a jerk move, and they should feel bad for themselves for doing. They no. I know that they're trying to introduce the mechanic of staying calm. That's not fair. That is not fair. I saw A and I think quick time events. I didn't think stay calm. I just saw the let come like you. <laughs> Dad gummit. Stay quiet. You need to keep going. Well, I did say she was dead to me if she was complicit with him, but I won't find out anymore because Oh boy. Oh boy. Great. Great. Th that that one doesn't feel like it's on me. That feels like they introduced a new mechanic and it screwed me over. Jeez. No, I don't think this is what everyone was scared of. Oh. How are there still rats surviving on here? Are there just dead birds landing on the deck for them to just go up and eat? Or was there that much food stored on here that could last that long? I want to leave through this door. That is my desire. Okay, thank you. Controls are just as janky as they were before. The dynamic fixed camera angles do not help. It's so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. Uh, mm, semi-possible. Out of bounds. The cargo hold where they had the stuff, I'm assuming? They're not allowed to go there. Wonder why? Whoa. What's that about? No, I already saw that. I wanted to check what... It just now conveniently fell off. You're not going to get me that with a cheap jump like that. Did I just get Fliss killed off in a stupid way? Would she have been taken if she was a distraction? Ah. If she had been a distraction, she, maybe this is a way for her to play out one way or the other. Maybe it's a way... Someone's got to get that distributor cap back. Oh, God! Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. I don't want to walk back by there again. All right. Ellen Reed. This is a look... Dear Els, I finally, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out, there on, out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I've got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know... Dot, dot, dot. Wait, wait, wait. What about the back of it? What about the back of it? I didn't flip it over. That dot, dot, dot could have been important. Is that dot, dot, dot? I know... Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I'm so glad I kept re- okay. Alright, this is from the guy that died at the beginning. Because that must be his son's name and Ro wasn't Robert the guy that was- that he was with that died? Okay, cool. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are t far too slick now the war is over. 
I bet they are, they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. What a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon. No, you won't, Robert. Jesus, what's next? I don't know, but I don't really want to no. I saw someone. Don't tell me I didn't. I don't like those camera angles. I'm not really appreciating that. Alright. I'm just spamming A by the way on everything. That's that's my that's you my gen made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well then sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. Yeah, what did you want me to say? You hear that? Wait. Big boat, big engine. All right. Well, awkward walking path is awkward. I didn't realize that I was going to have chances to be able to look over the sides, but that's cool. I wonder if that other path had a picture for me to look at. Because now I'm interested in everything the game could possibly tell me. We'll find out if Fliss is actually with them really fast if she got taken and nothing happens to her. June 19th. I identified problem areas with structural uh, brittleness and cracks in some sections of Cargo Hold 1. I instructed our shipwrights to carry out the ne necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20th. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting, shorting out and should slow down the growth. Turn the page. June 21st. I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than, in expect, than expected. I have rem remained... <laughs> Words, really? I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant to their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. June 22nd, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through hoisting cables aloft deck which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've recently I've received reports with the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the mo uh, at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make full damage assessment. So the flashlight was there in case we got separated from Fliss, which could have... See, it could have happened either... No, she's got the lantern. it! I'm trying to convince myself that it's okay that I got her caught on accident. Alright. Walking faster. I can't believe I got her caught. Maybe she can get the... Uh, I want her to get be able to get that part back for me, though. I mean, she's with them now. She, maybe she can get the distributor cat because, I mean, we can't go anywhere without it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a rat skull. Cool. They had rats. Oh! God, what?! Certainly correct, dude. Keep it together. Wh Will you pull the same thing twice? Nope. All right. Okay. Up oh, more reading. Exposition dump incoming. In five, four, three, two. 
Here it is. Thursday, 12. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole damn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet the ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a fellow soldier, uh, with a feller who had helped us load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird maybe, but he said that there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holes just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you get if you're any old grunt. It got me thinking, who could be in those boxes? Friday the 13th, great day. Booze was a bum loss, Perez said. He felt drunk after four cups. Booze was a bum loss, Perez said. He felt drunk after four cups. But, said, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. I read that sentence with the wrong emphasis. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted. Many up later, they made prison hooch. Th th don't do that. That's really dangerous. Many up later, down at six to check and check it out. Saturday, just heard one of those guys here snuck a look at the, those boxes. Gonna find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can g even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. N nothing good can come of this. It's all off. The guy who is gonna help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's some kind of flake, which which might be true. But Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Perez said that the boys made more hooch. Too bummed to sneak out to try some, but what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Saturday the 21st. Last night I was on duty with Wool Woolwich. Woolwich. Will I got I'm gonna give up with W and Damn if he didn't creep me out He got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle Reckon that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes traveling home just like a saps I sneaked to look and Jesus there it was just like the guy in the port had said all laid out real nice Old glory over each one if it's Jones in there. They've done him proud good old uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there, he'd make sure we all come. Not nec come home. No, not one hundred percent true. But you know, if it makes you feel better, if it. All right. I haven't found a picture in a while. I think I'm. I, I think I'm missing the pictures. Oh. <gasps> It's a picture. Picture. Wait, what? All right, what? Wait, is that is that Conrad back with us? That guy is beating up Alex while there's there the only other white guy I know is Conrad. In the offing. So Alex can get his ass handed to him? Maybe. Who knows? Not me for sure. Because I'm the one who goes off and screws up an, a, an event because I think it's quick time when it's breathing. Really? Really, game? Really? I'm still... We're still fighting, game. That was a cheap, dirty trick. And you know it. You, you, you did a bad thing and you should feel bad about it. How long am I going? Nah, we can go a little longer with this episode. Why not? I'm not sure how long this game is. Oh, cutscene time. You could just turn the flashlight off to be super safe. That's how, that's how flashlights work. They have a button. There oh crap. 
I need that. Is Fliss the only one that knows how to put that back on? No, we do have to go grab it. Otherwise, we're not leaving. Unless Conrad comes back with the cavalry. Don't, okay. don't. Qui est là? Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là? Oh, crap. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Oh, crap. Where is that cap going? Wait, what? You can't say one thing. This. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll continue on as Alex in just a second. Or in the next one. Here's the thing. I think what I just heard was keeping up, don't lose them. But we're allowing ourselves to lose them because I screwed up. And we don't have the same crew. I just changed how the story goes maybe a little bit. I don't know. At least Fliss is still alive. And maybe she can get that cap for me. And I, she might have to stay alive for me to get off this ship. That distributor cap, she's right. Without that, the ship's not going anywhere. And unless Conrad comes back with a, a, a seaworthy vessel that can uh, go through the storm, and no, he would have to know the coordinates. He escaped off the ship. Did he memorize them? Like he would have no idea how to necessarily find them unless they ping the ship, Coast Guard maybe, I don't know. I mean, this is modern technology, there's, I mean, but w it depends on where they actually are. There's too many variables. I'm just going to say this. I, I think I need Fliss alive for a second here to get that cap, and I hope I didn't screw that up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'm going to continue this on. I probably got to record one more right now uh, because I, I'm kind of engrossed in trying to figure out what's... Um, maybe maybe I'm just engrossed in the story because trying to figure out how they stay alive already screwed that one up. I think I have. So someone's probably dying. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you back here for the next one really, really soon. Bye.